most important question that we try to answer is, first of all, how to assign those delays? Because the moment we start assigning delays, it's going to cause disruption. How to reduce that, dis how to minimize the disruption? We cannot make the disruption zero. How to minimize the disruption? Secondly, all these decisions are made in face of uncertainty because we really don't know when the weather is going to take, when the weather is going to occur, and when it is going to clear. So under these uncertainty, we have to make that the decisions are made. So how to make it most efficient based on the knowledge that we have at the moment. For example, let's say we have to take for a given flight, given aircraft, it has to take 10 minutes of delay or say 40 minutes of delay. The question is, should it take before it leaves the airport, before it departs, or should it take, it take the delay, absorb the delay when it is up in the air? Obviously, if it is up in the air, first of all, it is consuming fuel. Secondly, it's causing unsafe environment because it has to go in circles. So naturally, it is a, we all strive to hold the planes before they take off because they are much more, it's much more cheaper and safer to delay them in the ground. But if you delay, if you delay an aircraft too much in the ground, there might be missed opportunities. For example, there might be a landing slot in the distant destination airport, which we, we are going to lose simply because we have held the flight too long. So there is a trade-off between delaying it too much in the ground and being much more conservative, being, trying to be much more safe, then letting everybody go, being very aggressive, but then face unsafe situations.